what's body gotta do? What? Hey, what's up guys, it's Sinu here, welcome to the video and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own logo using Android. So I know I've already done a video about that, but a lot of you guys complained and you said that it was pretty hard to catch up with the video because the video was like hard and there was so many steps on it. So this is like pretty much easier way than the first video, so without taking any longer, let's get started. So as always, we are going to be using Adobe Photoshop Touch, which is really awesome, like an uh, image editor, I will leave a link in the description below so you can go ahead and download for free once you download you go ahead and press on that plus button and now hit on blank document and create a brand new like a blank document with a resolution of 500 by 500 like so and hit on ok and you will have uh, like a blank document like just like so so what you can do is you can go ahead and hit on that uh, layers button hit on plus button again and hit on for layer then go ahead and hit on for library and choose this uh, like uh, uh, birds uh, like wallpaper stuff like that so i will leave a link in the description below you can go ahead and download this wallpaper for free once you guys download it you can go ahead and hit on that like effects button right over there and you can go ahead and choose color blouse and from here you can go ahead and just uh, control the color it could be wherever you want for example purple or red like green blue so it could be whatever you want i really like blue just like so so i'm gonna head and just put this low so that's cool for me once you guys know that go ahead and just select it and then now make sure you go ahead and hit on that layers button right on there on the bottom right so once you guys done that go ahead and hit on that plus button right over there and create a brand new empty layer just like so now once you guys done that, make sure that you are on the uh, circle selection tool on the bottom left, as you can see, so I am on the circle selection tool right now. So once you are here, what you can do is you're gonna go ahead and just make sure that you select this area right over here, make sure that you put like a perfect circle right over here. Once you guys done that, go ahead and hit on that end button which is right over there. And once you guys press on that end button, go ahead and hit on fill and stroke. Once you guys done that, you can go ahead and hit on type right over there and make sure you change the type from fill to stroke. And here we go, once you've done that, you can go ahead and make this bolder. So I'll really suggest you 18, just like so. It's all up to you guys, but 18 is pretty cool. Once you guys done that, go ahead and hit on that button right over there and hit on deselect. So once you guys done that, go ahead and transform it and make sure that it is on the like middle. <clears throat> so just like so, so it is right on the middle. And make sure this circle is not that big. Okay, once you guys done that, as you can see, you can go ahead and hit on that effect button right over there. And from here, you can go ahead and just hit on drop shadow. So you can go ahead and add a really cool drop shadow effect to this uh, like uh, circle layer. So let's go ahead and add it. And here we go. We can go ahead and add it a few more times. And that looks cool. Now the next step, what you can do is you can go ahead and hit on that end button and hit on text right over here. So we are going to add a brand new text layer. And once you guys done that, you need to go ahead and change the text to your first letter of your uh, like uh, channel. So my channel is Sinu, so it is C. So because this is a tutorial, I'm going to head and choose a random one, for example, F. And for example, let's go ahead and change the font. I suggest you this one, called Myroid Pro. And you can go ahead and hit on that bold button right over there. And pretty much just go ahead and uh, like, uh, uh, you, you know, just transform it and make it bigger. So just like so. So you can go ahead and also like rotate it and make it wherever you want. So let's go ahead and hit on that end button right over there. And let's go and add a fill and stroke to that uh, like a letter. And you can go ahead and make it uh, like bolder and make sure that the color is the same color with the letter. So you can go ahead and make it bolder as I told you before. So add that fill and stroke a few more times, like two or three more times. So you can go ahead and add it one more time. So that looks pretty cool for me. And once you guys done that, you can go ahead and just control it. You can go ahead and rotate it, put it wherever you want. I like it like that. So that is nice. Now once you guys done that, go ahead and hit on that effect button and choose the drop shadow and go ahead and add a drop shadow uh, like a few times, about three or four times. So once you guys done that, you will have something like that. So this is all about for this video. This is how to make a really awesome like logo for your uh, YouTube channel. And you can always add a effect to that logo. So it's going to look like pretty cool. Just be creative. Like you can go ahead and change the color of the background. You can even change the color of your letter and you can add a gradient. Just be creative and just make your very own logo. And I know that it is not like the best logo out there on YouTube. But if you are just starting a YouTube channel, that's going to be really helpful for you because as you can see, it, not, it doesn't look that bad at all. And you can make it like in less than four minutes, so that is pretty nice. So you guys, I, think, I guess that's about it for this video. Really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. That would mean a lot for me. And also check my channel out because there is a lot of amazing and daily videos in there. Subscribe for more and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Till then, peace out guys.